The reason why I've become a veterinarian is to help animals. And if helping animals includes going to disaster fields or to a shelter, that's what I do. Dr. Nice Levine. Dr. Blue. Right. Thank you. That's a nice uh, little setup you guys got here. Yeah, we're, yes. we're pretty packed. There's a lot of dogs here. How many do you have in here? We've over 200. Wow. Over 200? Yep. Austin Pets Live set up in Houston early, right before the hurricane hit. And what we did is ask the shelters that we knew were in the path of the hurricane if they needed help getting animals out of their shelters before the hurricane. Because we knew that a lot of shelters would be facing euthanasia because they wouldn't be able to evacuate all the shelter animals themselves. This is an old grocery store and what we're trying to do is set up the dogs by where they need to go eventually. Okay. So okay. we have dogs that are set up that are strays that need to go over to the stray hold facility. We have dogs that are coming from other shelters that might have high risk or high disease. And so they're going over to a section for quarantine. Most of the shelters are trying to empty their cages so they can keep them reserved for strays. From the hurricane. Exactly. OK, so Nexus. a lot of these guys are actually trying to get out of the shelter right. so we can make room in the shelter. We've seen people come out of the woodwork to foster, to volunteer, to donate, and it has just been tremendous. Most popular dog name this year? Harvey. Yes. Right. That's right. That's exactly right. We got a lot of stuff donated. We brought over. So. Fantastic. Let's right. take it over to the storage facility. That way we can empty out the truck and start using it for animals. OK. All right. Sounds good. Dr. Blue and I came out here to help you know, as best we could. Dr. Ross, I think he saw how many boxes and stuff we had, and he was worried about that hip or something. I don't know. He, he just decided he was going to take the easy road and uh, stay behind and man the clinic. Hey, we've got a litter of puppies with a mom that look really bad. My you want to go take a look? Yeah, we got that. Ticks everywhere. Oh, man, oh, everywhere, yeah. Hey, give me something for all these ticks. There's seven puppies with a mom covered in ticks, covered in fleas, and may have some heat distress. I'm sure these parasites are sucking the lifeblood out of them, literally. So we got ticks all over him, man. Ticks in his ear. Got a little guy. So he's hand pretty heavy. With the travel from wherever the puppies came from to here, they were in a car with other dogs. So the ambient temperature around them can increase their body temperature and make things worse for them. Puppy two, it's warm outside, so we don't want them outside longer than they need to be. Right now, we're about to just do a good exam on those guys and get them all vaccinated so we can get them inside into the cool air. OK, OK, come here. She's trying to get to her kids. Yeah. Want to put her in there? Yeah, you might as well, because she's about to lose it trying to well, get she in might, there. She might freak out when we start trying to grab them, though. Yeah. Because she's already getting okay. stressed. Mom of the puppies, she's wanting to be with her baby. She wants to know what's going on with them. So she's a little bit, you know, anxious, has some anxiety. She's drying up. Yeah. I don't know I have any milk production, so pups are more than likely not eating. When puppies are really young, they don't have a lot of energy stores. They haven't stored enough fat, so they lose it very quickly, whether it be through regular activity, lack of eating, or parasites scavenging it from them. Time is of the essence. They're not that old, and they're not thriving well. All right, let's run through it there, buddy. Puppy three. Point two again. This is going to be four. All right, buddy. Puppy five. Out of seven puppies, all of them look good except one. This one's doing bad. You want to give him some fluids, Mike? This is the thinnest one. Looks like the runt, but it looks really critical, and I don't know how well it's going to do. I think the rest of them are going to do really well. I think that's the only one that's just going to be kind of critical. Yeah, good deal. Right. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I'm so you glad you guys yourself. are here. I'm glad we could be a part of this. Hopefully, this puppy is going to make it, but we have to see how he does through the night. And if he does well, I think we'll be in a better place tomorrow. You know, I really hope that everything else that we've done today will eventually save these animals' lives. They survived the hurricane, and they've actually survived being in a shelter. We just need people to adopt them, or at least some foster families to hold on to them until they can get a forever home. And Austin Pets Alive and Houston Pets Alive will do a great job at making sure we get these guys to a safe place. Man, this is a long day, huh? Hey, Dr. Blue, I got a surprise for you. Hey! That's a little puppy from the shelter? Yeah. Uh, the Houston Pets Alive? This is him. 
I work with the crew, and uh, while we were doing the Houston Pets Alive, you know, a lot of us also went through Harvey, and I just, I couldn't stand the fact that these dogs had gone through something like that. Me and Levine saw these puppies. It was uh, seven puppies and a mom. Mom looked all emaciated, but this was one of the seven. It had fleas and ticks all over the place. They were just kind of, we gave them fluids, uh, some vitamin B, some sugar water. Man, look at them. So when we found him, he actually was not going to make it. And after Dr. Blue and Dr. Levine saw him, I actually carried him around for a little bit and made sure he was warm and slowly watched him come to life. And now here we are, inseparable. I adopted him. I couldn't help it. See what happened when you work on TV long enough around animals. You get suckered into yeah, owning yeah. a little bit more you than get, you expected. You get, the good thing about it, you know some veterinarians. You're going to name Hurricane Harvey? No. Hurricane? Zeus. 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 Like, like, the, like the god of all gods. I'm glad that I've worked on the show for so long, because it's looking like I'm going to get a little discount on vet care. Congratulations um, on, your, on your adoption. He making it seem like you a client in a room, bro. You work here. Congratulations, <laughs> man. You work on the show. Congratulations. Congratulations on your adoption. Thanks. And we welcome you. Hey, but y'all get talk, I'm out. That's all the way for me, thanks. If you need anything for him, man, let us know. Absolutely. We're taking good care of him. Thanks, Dr. Blue. All right, man, have a good one. Congratulations yeah. on the little baby. <laughs>